So, uh, Father Knight, uh, what issues uh, have been discussed at your session? Well, in the session that I was chairing, they fell into two categories, which has been true also of the other science and theology uh, sessions that we've had in this conference. On the one hand, there were questions that were very practical related to questions of ecology, sustainability, and that sort of thing. Um, and obviously those had a knock-on effect in terms of Christian spirituality generally and asking about you know, how we as Orthodox Christians should be living in the world. The other two were what might seem more abstract questions, but again reflected the way in which the sciences of our time pose particular questions for orthodox theology. Um, one of them was the whole sort of question of how we think about the fall, and particularly how the fall relates to the world in which we now live, particularly when, from a scientific and evolutionary perspective, it's very difficult to see the fall as something that has happened simply as a historical thing in the past. Um, and also, uh, at, at that sort of level, there was um, a, a presentation on artificial intelligence, because, of course, the whole thing now about artificial intelligence poses questions for our understanding of what it means to be uniquely human. What is it about human beings that's unique when so many of the things that we used to think were unique about humans um, we can now see being done by machines sometimes very much more efficiently than we do it ourselves. So th that was another of the issues that was around at that slightly more theoretical level. Okay, mm. uh, but um, how can Yota as a network of scholars uh, help advance the discussion in the future? Well, I think the important thing is that there are quite a number of people now in the Orthodox Church who have a good insight into the sciences and the sorts of questions that are arising from the sciences and um, are also aware of Orthodox theology and can use some of the traditional resources of the Orthodox theology to do that. So that what we've been doing within this conference is very similar, for example, to what has been done over the last three years in a project based in Athens called Science and Orthodoxy in the World, which again has tried to get together scholars with that dual interest in the sciences and in theology and in the way that they interact. And the lovely thing about this conference has been to see the way in which that has been happening within, which, um, within a much wider conversation about orthodoxy in the modern world. And um, I found this conference a very helpful one in trying to do that. Okay, Father, thank you for your time. Thank you very much.